Hello viewers, my name is Bob. In this video, we will be trying out something really cool, which is to ask ChatGBT to perform some mathematical proofs. Usually mathematical proofs are one of the difficult questions students encounter during the papers. Today, we are going to ask ChatGBT three different kinds of mathematical proofs, two of which from algebra and one from trigonometry. So let us ask ChatGPT about mathematical proofs. So the first proof we are going to ask ChatGPT is to prove that the difference between 24 to the power of 12 and 15 to the power of 10 is a multiple of 3. So how do we usually go about proving this kind of question? For this particular problem, we need to show that the answer should be in this particular form three times whatever uh, equation will be. How do we go about doing so? We will, of course, write it in this manner, 24 to the power of 12 subtracting away 15 to the power of 9. After which, what we can do is to express in this particular form, we know that 24 to the power of 12 is the same as 24 times 24 to the power of 11. And how about 15 to the power of 9 is the same as 15 to the power of 8 times 15. We can further express 24 as 3 times 8 times 24 to the power of 11. Whereas my 15 times 15 to the power of 8, I can express it as 3 times 5 times 15 to the power of 8. And hence, from here, I can factorize the 3 out of the whole equation, in which this itself is a constant k. I basically just prove that the difference between these two numbers is a multiple of 3. Now let's go back to chat GBT to see if it can prove the difference is a multiple of 3. Basically, chat GBT has come up with some very interesting logic about this particular question. It says that if x is a multiple of 3 and y is a multiple of 3, then x to the power of y is also a multiple of 3. So this is actually correct. Based on the first sentence, it only concludes that 24 to the power of 10 is a multiple of 3, but then 15 to the power of 10 is not a multiple of 3. The only thing it doesn't prove is the difference between it. There is no link between the last sentence from the rest of the sentence above. So basically what ChatGPT does is that it doesn't really answer the question proving that the difference is a multiple of 3. Let us move on to the next question asking chat GBT trigonometry identity question. The trigonometry identity question we're going to ask is to prove that cosine square x minus sine square x is equals to 1 minus 2 sine square x. In reality, how do we go about solving this problem? To prove this trigonometry identity, basically all we need to do is to apply the Pythagorean theorem, we know that my cosine square x is equals to 1 minus sine square x. After which we can apply this trigonometry identity into the first part of the equation. Cosine square x minus sine square x is equals to substituting my cosine square x as 1 minus sine square x minus sine square x, this is equals to 1 minus 2 sine square x, which is the same as the right hand side of the equation. Now let's go back to chat GBT to see if it is able to prove the trigonometry identities. From here, chat GBT has shown the steps on proving the trigonometry identity that cosine square x minus sine square x is equals to 1 minus 2 sine square x. In here, chat GBT does a little bit differently. It started off by using the trigonometry identity that cosine square x plus sine square x is equals to 1. And then following which, subtracting sine square x from both sides, then multiply both sides by negative 1 and then add sine square x to both sides to 
conclude that my cosine square x minus sine square x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square x. The thing about mathematics is that when we are trying to prove an identity, we'll start off with the left hand side of the equation and then we apply some trigonometry identities to derive the right hand side of the equation. By following what ChatGPT has done, though you will still be able to get the correct answer, it is not following the way how we do mathematical proofs proving the left hand side of the equation and then do some manipulation to get the right hand side of the equation. So for this particular case, I would say that ChatGPT still is able to solve the trigonometry identity proof, but it doesn't follow how we do it for mathematical proofs. We next ask ChatGPT to prove an algebra mathematical problem which is to prove that the sum of three consecutive odd numbers is an odd number. So how do we go about doing so in real life? Let's take a look. Basically for this question to prove that the sum of three consecutive odd number is an odd number, we need to express our answer in this particular form whereby we have the term that proves that is definitely an even number for all real values and plus something like a 1 so that this itself is an odd number. We will let 2n plus 1 be the first odd number and the next two consecutive odd numbers will be 2n plus 3 and 2n plus 5 when n is basically just any integer, whether or not it is negative or positive. Then we will sum these three numbers up. So we have 2n plus 1 plus 2n plus 3 plus 2n plus 5. So this gives us basically 6n plus 9, in which I can further express it in this form. So that will be 6n plus 8 plus 1. And then I factorize the first two term by factorizing 2 out of the term. And hence this is the proof because the first term 2 bracket 3n plus 4 is always an even number for all integer of n. If you add 1, this is definitely always an odd number for all integer of n. Now we will go back to check GDP to see if it can prove that the sum of three consecutive odd numbers is an odd number. If you were to look at the answer ChatGPT has provided, ChatGPT has proven that the sum of three consecutive odd numbers is an odd number correctly. It defines the first of the three consecutive odd numbers to be x, and since it is odd, we know that x is equals to 2n plus 1 for some integer n. Then the next two odd numbers will be x plus 2 and x plus 4. Next, it sums up the three numbers. We get 3x plus 6. And then it goes on to prove that the sum is odd. We need to show that x plus 6 is not divisible by 2 because we know x is already an odd number. So 3 times an odd number is still an odd number. And then if we were to add a even number 6, we will still get an odd number. So which means that the sum of three consecutive odd numbers is always an odd number. So in this particular case, ChatGBT has correctly proven that the sum of three consecutive odd numbers is an odd number. Well, there you have it. We try asking ChatGBT three mathematical proofs, two algebra problems, one trigonometry problems, and ChatGBT is able to at least prove one of the questions accurately. If you guys like this content of the videos, do press the thumbs up icon and do consider to subscribe for more ChatGBT and math problems together. My name is Bob, thank you guys for your support and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye guys!